welcome everybody and thank everyone for showing up to celebrate our Silver Edge Park. I still remember very passionate about STEM and we are thrilled to be launching this great line. I know you guys will all make it around to the different stations and you'll see how we're bringing robotics, coding, and math to life. It is so important this day and age for our kids to have a great experience with STEM. We know that in our economy, the areas that are really growing are the STEM sectors. And we want to make sure our kids at a very early age get great hands-on experience so that they know that these are things that they can do and that they'll love. But enough about me, because what I'm really excited to do is turn this over to a world-renowned Champion of STEM, Bill Nye. Woo! 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 Uh, our person was an engineer in general. And uh, so if you want to be creative, but if you want to make stuff, they say, I'm an engineer. And uh, engineers do science to solve problems and make things. So I got excited about science certainly before I was five, but I think it was before I was four, which was some time ago. Uh, but I encourage everybody, it's fun, right? You guys can grow up. And what's happening now? I grew up making stuff the way one does, but now not only can you make this thing, you can decide what you want that thing to do. You can do the robotics. And the word that's caught on everybody's using is write code, coding. So you're writing computer programs, you're writing an algorithm, you're writing a system, a scheme, an idea, a sequence of steps to make something happen. It's cool. What's not to love? You know what I always say about mathematics? is it allows you to predict the future. When you understand the math, you can know what's going to happen. And that's just so much fun. It's so empowering. And uh, you, if you become a scientist and engineer, you can, dare I say it, change the world. <laughs> so, thank you. So there's at least three problems I want the students here to solve. We need, uh, we need a, a way to make uh, seawater uh, fresh water. We need to take the salt out of seawater economically. Then uh, we need better batteries. We need a better way to store electricity. And then we need better transmission lines, ways to move electricity. Around. So can you guys get that done? I'll check you on your way. <laughs> but they look like we can figure them out. And I'm just looking around here. I see a couple guys with uh, three printed bow ties. Gotta sit very sharp. So you guys, uh, students, kids, you are coming of age, you're growing up at a time that is, it's just the most exciting time in human history to have to tell you. When I was young, the only way to make anything, what's the thing? This uh, piece of aluminum, this piece of plastic, those chairs, was to remove material. We would make a mold the opposite shape of that stool, and by, to make the mold, you would cut aluminum or steel away, cut it away, carefully cut it away. But now, we can make something like that where your bow tie is just by adding material, what people call additive manufacturing. There was no such thing. Well, they get a brazen tension there. But there's very little additive manufacturing. It's a very exciting time for us, and will be, here I Change the world. <laughs> Two other things. I came to the World's Fair in New York City in 1965. <laughs> and there were three billion people in the world. Three billion. Today, while we're sitting here talking, there are 7.2 billion people. By the time you're my age, there will be about 9 billion people. And they are all going to want to eat stuff like food. And uh, they're going to want to have a high quality of life, they're going to want a clean environment, and that's where you guys can change the world. 
So I'm really glad you're here doing the uh, science, technology, engineering, and math with the EDGE program. It gives you EDGE. <laughs> and so you'll see if you do this stuff, it will just become second nature to you. And you will be able to, uh, to make things and solve problems and change the world. So thank you all for coming. Is there anything else I should remind? Well, let's give a big round of applause.